Very good morning. Can I have resume, please? Yes, ma'am, sure. Yes, what is your name? My name is Ajay, ma'am. Ajay, where are you from? I am from Hyderabad, ma'am. Okay, please introduce yourself. Yes, ma'am, sure. It's an honor to introduce myself, ma'am. My name is Piyaj, ma'am. I graduated my B.Tech in Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technology. And my main hobbies are playing cricket, watching news, etc. Okay, I am very good at working man, and I am a hard worker. I can learn within three days any work man. So this is about me man. Yeah, okay, good. And uh, this is the mock interview, Ajay. Yeah, ma'am. I will ask you a few questions. Yes, ma'am, sure. Ma yes, okay. You need to answer those questions, yeah, okay? Yes. And uh, what is final keyword? So final keyword we use it for classes, methods, and uh, wearables, man. Wherefore, using final keyword, it is fixed man. There is no change in the variables man. And for using method for final, it's overrides the comma, ka, concept man. While using for class final, it's overrides the inner returns man. This is the use of final keyword. Final keyword. Yeah. Okay. And uh, please ex explain about your exception handling. Exception handling. Man. So first to you know you need to explain about exception you need to know about three errors man. first one compile time error runtime error and logical error compile time error are just like syntax errors man. there is no need to worry about that man. A logical errors are just automatic errors man. that solves the no problem man. whereas runtime errors we need to deal about the concept of exception handling man. so while dealing runtime errors we mainly use this concept of try catch throw throws final consistent these in simple words to handle the runtime error we use exception and please explain abstract keyword by way of using keyword to know about abstract method we need to know about method man. so casually method have a body and signature man. if a method does not have any body then it is the abstract method man. if you abstract in a class having any one abstract method, then it is an abstract class method. It is a use of abstract class method. And abstraction is different from abstract class method. Where abstract achieved can be achieved through abstract Okay, good. Yeah. And uh, what do you know about Java? What is Java? Java is a high level language method. And it's OOPs and simple oriented uh, programming language and platform independent, robust language, multi threading language. These are the uh, okay. Uh, what is platform independent? Platform independent. So Java is a platform independent due to the reason it can run anywhere, man. So where uh, compiler converts the source code into byte port. In a byte port is between the machine and uh, high level language, low level language. So there is no need of compilation in any platform. It can run anywhere in any platform. Just that's it. Okay. Um, what is JVM? JVM. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. The main mm, aim is to convert source code into bytecode and compile the bytecode method. That is the main aim. Okay. And, yes, tell me, uh, can we write public static void main instead of this uh, one, static public void? Yeah, ma'am. In Java, the order, of, the order of specialized doesn't matter man, in Java. Whatever in manner, it compiles and runs successfully. Man. Okay. And can we write? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. And uh, what are the various access specifiers in Java? Yeah, ma'am. There are four types, ma'am. Firstly, about public. Public is a can access anywhere, ma'am. Within the class, within the package, outside the class, outside the package, ma'am. Next one, default. Default can be accessed only within the package man. There is no outside of the package we cannot access it man. While coming to protected, where within the package and outside of outside also we can access it. And private, only within the class. Okay. And uh, how many types of constructors? There are two types of constructors man. First one default constructor and parameters constructor. So I will tell about default yeah. constructor. So basic simple in simple definition, the initialization of instance variables without de with the default values is known as default uh, constructor man. In simple passing without any parameters. That is also known as default constructor. Okay. And coming to parameter parameter constructor, 
or initializing the instance variable with given values. That is parametric, parametric construct. Okay. And can we inherit the constructor? Yeah, ma'am. So. Yes. Why? Uh, how? How will we inherit the constructor? Uh, so my answer is wrong, ma'am. You cannot uh, inherit the constructor, ma'am. Okay. The reason inheritance is we use multiple uh, we code reusable development. In constructor, we cannot use it. Right? So that's uh, okay. And yeah, okay, good. And uh, why is inheritance used in Java? Inheritance, okay, ma'am. So suppose let me tell you in simple, ma'am. If you want to reuse the code, so you must then use the inheritance concept, ma'am. So suppose class A, class B, class C, you have, ma'am. So we need uh, reusability. Then we need to derive the class from A, and you can use the code in C, ma'am. That is the inheritance. Concept. Please define wrapper classes. Wrapper classes, ma'am. In simple, if we need to convert primitive data types into object or objects into primitive data types, we use wrapper classes. Ma so while con converting primitive to the object, it is known as out of box. Okay, Ajay, your yeah. communication is good, your explanation also uh, nice. And uh, yeah, um, I hope. You learn more things in um, like more technologies. Yeah, yeah. Ma I will improve myself. Okay, Ajay, I'll mm -hmm. give you one program. Yeah, you need to write that program and explain, give the explanation. Yeah, ma'am, sure. Yes. Uh, write the Java program for exception handling. Yeah, ma'am. I will tell about exception handling. So to know that about, first I will tell about three concepts. You know, need to know about the three concepts. About that, first one, compile time. First one, second one, run time. Third one, large time. So, compile time. Compile time is just basic basic error what I put is syntax errors just like suppose system dot out dot print error so something error I missed the semicolon so these types of error caused in the compile known as compile time error to do to next error next error run time error to discuss this I will later explain this first you will know about logical error logical errors are automatical errors just like suppose in system dot out dot printer I written two places so you print four this is no error if this cause any error this is done as logical error so runtime error to discuss about runtime error we don't need to know about exception handling so mainly exception handling later I will write a code and I will explain that suppose probably public static So by observing this code, so we declared integer i and integer j. We perform some operation 18 by 8 mathematical operation. And we are printing the j value. So here we call this an error, so what is this? 18 by 0, which means infinity. So these types of error cause known as uh, runtime errors. It's why caused by runtime errors. Conflict who is exception handling concept by using keywords like catch so I tell him to JVM so can you try to print so I <coughs> using try
So, I telling to JVM, can you please try to print this statement? Try this play statement. So JVM what will tell? Okay, I will try myself. Then after compiling, then it throws an exception. So what is the exception it will throw? It throws that automatic exception causing error. It's causing untimely. So to throwing exception, we need to catch. So catching the exception, catching using catch keyword, catch exception e. This is the exception I need for programming, like as exception I need. So the JVM, the main purpose is just to print this the this this output. So this use without try class, we give, get an error. So to avoid this conflict, we use try class. So JVM what we will try? We requesting, can you please try? So I am giving try with this statement. And JVM then then what we will do? It will catch an exception. So throwing a catch exception and printing another statement. So in simple, suppose statement one, statement two, statement three, statement four, statement five. We have five statements. If we call that error, statement three error, in statement four, statement five, we, we cannot also print. So this is the main uh, problem we acquired. So to avoid this, we use the exception concept. Exception causing error, this will stop and we will print the other remaining. So this is the concept of exception error.